Hello and good afternoon from Newcastle Community Stadium. I'm Sean Cashmore. Next to me today is Craig Barnes and you join us for Leamington versus Hales Owen Town in the Southern League Premier Division Central. With six games left for the breaks and five games left for the Yelts this season, it is perhaps fair to say that this game is a must win for both teams. Last weekend, Leamington dished out a devastating defeat and an A-star performance against the fellow promotion hopefuls in Redditch United. If Leamington are to have any hope of catching Mickelover in second or perhaps more realistically Telford in third, of whom they play next weekend, then three points today is an absolute must. The same can be said of Hales Owen, who find themselves eighth, ten points off the playoffs and nothing less than a victory is the order of the day for them as well if they are to have any aspirations of taking part in those end-of-season playoffs. Really, the February 4th that did the damage for the Yelts with four losses and a draw in the five games they played last month. It was form that saw them drop out of focus in that playoff chasing picture. They do come into this game though on the back of a win last weekend. They, they ran out 2-1 winners at home to Colville with two goals from Donnelly and that was enough to seal the points. Ford long high in towards the Leamington area. And it's going to be helped further over the top of Evans. Evans points at his goalkeeper, knocks it down to Akofa himself, though. Akofa, one on one, can't get the ball out of his feet, has a go. Meredith blocks, Meredith claims it's his, and then helps it out of the penalty area. Well, Evans made a little bit of a mess of it, and he ended up heading it straight to the feet of Akofa, who couldn't get it out of his feet, the man who's got 20 goals this season. And in the end, Leminster managed to scramble it away. Good challenge from Williams. He lays it into the feet of Edwards. Edwards, Barnett. Back to Quainer. Quainer again. Walker. Walker tries to help it on. Picks up the second attempt. Now he feeds it through towards Barnett. Barnett can't quite get there because it was well spotted by Redfern, who just come across and sweeped away. And Leamington will have the throw in, which they'll look to take quickly. Stewart. Quainer again. Quainer. Can he get his cross better this time? Yes, he can. It's up towards Barnett, but Barnett didn't quite win it. Headed away, only as far as Stewart, deep inside the left-hand side of the area. Stewart again collects with the one-two from Quainer. Stewart, can he get his shot off? Tries to curl it towards the far post. Half a yard wide. Good effort from Callum Stewart. Got the ball out of his feet neatly. Angled it towards the far post. Daniel Platt was at full stretch, but it was at least half a yard wide from the Leamington striker. Definitely Leamington's best moment of the game there. I mean, Ewan Williams was involved in the build-up. Callum Stewart got it on the uh, on the left-hand side for the break, sent a lovely curling effort goalwards and just wide of the post. Chirot works it in right on top of the goalkeeper. He manages to punch away, bounces down inside the area, stabbed back forward towards the far post by Adam Walker and then just over the top. Really good set piece though, wasn't it? I mean, uh, the goalkeeper went against um, lots of bodies, trying to get a contact to it, lovely set piece from William Shorrock. Callum Hawkins will take this goal kick left footed. Clears long, high, up towards Shorrock. Shorrock keeps it in play by just heading it infield. Williams wins the return header into the path of Shorrock and it's neat from the break. Shorrock, can he get his cross in? Yes he can, it's a little bit deep and a little bit long. Stewart will do well to keep this one in but he does do well and keeps it in and play on the far side. Tries to send it back towards Walker but it's loose, it's given away and now Hale's own can try and break down the right hand side with Miracle Okafor. Okafor gets around the outside of Evans. Okafor all the way to the byline. Can he get his cross across the near post? Yes he can. And misses everyone, comes all the way through, chip back across, headed goalwards and headed over the top. Well, it was half a chance, it came out all the way towards Reese Mitchell, and then Reese Mitchell put the ball back in towards the six yard box. Donnelly couldn't keep his header down, and it's over the top, and it's half a chance for Hales Owen. Shurrock won the corner and Shurrock will take the corner. There's a little train of Leamington players just forming on the edge of the D, all waiting to make their run for this Shurrock delivery that comes in towards the far post. Headed goal by Barnett, comes down towards Evans! Rob Evans scores against his former side. You always score against your old club, it's the cliche. And Rob Evans makes sure that that cliche lives up to expectation. He gets his second goal in as many league games after dispatching a 25 yard free kick against Redditch. This one was a little easier. It's Hales Owen Town nil, Leamington 1. The word I'm looking for there is composure because you know, how many times do you see someone blaze over or wide when you've got that sort of position? But the ball came to him. He waited, put his foot through it, back of the net, and Leamington lead. Well done, Rob Evans. Meredith takes the free kick up towards Edwards. Edwards, stooping header in towards Stewart. Stewart has a go just over the top into the crowd behind that goal. First time effort from Stewart was always rising, was never troubling the goalkeeper, Daniel Platt. It was an instinctive shot, wasn't it? A bit of a swivel, tried to get a shot away, but uh, yeah, a little bit too high. 
Not better play in towards Landers. Landers, Stewart, back towards Landers again. Just couldn't quite take it in his path, but he'll get towards the dead ball line. Still, Landers goes on, cuts it back. Great save. Stewart thought he'd scored. Fantastic save by Platt. Walker on the edge, off the post. Was it a save? Either way, it's cleared away by Hales Owen. Levington can't quite find the second, and Hales Owen will try and break away on the far side. First, a great save from Platt from Stewart. Stewart thought he'd scored as it came out towards Walker. Walker thought he'd scored, but it was either a combination of the post and a save but either way, Hales Owen escape. And it was Landers, wasn't it? Really did really well down the right-hand side. Lovely ball into Callum Stewart, who just lifted it goalwards, and you were waiting for the um, battle net to bulge. Great save by Platt. And then, as you say, Adam Walker couldn't quite convert either, but dramatic 20 seconds or so there for the breaks. Collected by Mitchell. Mitchell infield towards Parker. Hales Owen probe and press, looking for an equaliser. Booth works it out towards the number 10 on the right-hand side, Elliot. Elliot just drops it in towards the feet of Hickman. Hickman comes in field, in towards the strike inside, netting. Well, it was a strike on goal, I think, by Kane Elliott. It almost looked from our angle like it had hit the back of the net, but it cannoned into the side netting, and it stays Leamington 1, Hales Owen Town 0. Yeah, straight into the side netting, and luckily Leamington still hold this narrow 1-0 advantage. Evans goes across. Takes the ball out of the hands of Ryan Booth, who was waiting for a Leamington player to come and throw it. Now Evans just wants confirmation of where he should take the throw in from. Drives the ball on his shirt, even though there's absolutely no rain today, and then makes about 20 yards on the throw and hurls it down the line. Headed back more than out by the Hales Owen back line. Callum Stewart gets around the outside of his man, then just couldn't play it into the path of Henry Landers. And Platt will have one last chance, you'd think, to put it inside the Leamington area. Evans, great header away by the Leamington centre-back. Took one in the face as well, but still we play on. Chipped forward. This time it's Clark who heads it out of danger. Referee has one look at his watch. Still we play on. Ball's going to be collected. It's loose. It's in towards Edwards. Walker. He tries to send one down the line for Kelly Evans, but that's enough. Leamington managed to dig out all three points this afternoon in what has been a very hard battle here at Yakart Community Stadium. Both these sides have been fully at it. It's been combative. It's been a game of few chances, but the one chance that was taken has come from Rob Evans. He's the man who gets the winner. The former Hales Owen Town captain makes it two in two for a centre-back and he gets his name on the score sheet in a 1-0 win for Leamington. Very much vital that Leamington got the three points today. That's another member of the chasing pack who cannot now catch us. So game by game, the season is shaping out. It wasn't a classic, but we got the win and that's all that counts. It's finished here at Yukart Community Stadium. Leamington won. Hales Owen Town nil. You have a good Easter bank holiday and we'll be back with you soon. Paul, a big Easter win um, against your former club, 1 0, hard fought against Hales Owen. Your thoughts on the 90? Uh, at least it was a difficult game. I mean, I think recently we've been involved in some really good games and some good quality games. Uh, listen, you've got the beaming sun, a pitch that um, sadly we, we haven't been able to work on. Um, and I think that's why the ball was sort of... <laughs> I mean, listen, people will know that we, we might go from back to front um, sometimes quickly to get into the final entries and pick up bits off that, but today was just... I think Russell, uh, Russ and Alzheimer have, have probably changed their style a little bit as well to deal with this. And it's a game that, listen, it, it wasn't... It was a good disciplined performance. It was structured. Um, and I called it a sort of half one with the players today, saying, listen, the, the type of game it's going to be today is going to have to be... Um, a focused, mentally strong performance um, and a moment of quality or a set play could win the game. Um, I think we probably had the, better, the three or four big moments in the game. We, we, we probably edged them, I think. Nothing in the game. Could have quite easily finished 0-0. Um, but probably because of the three or four big moments, we probably just about edged it. And, and then the goal was a fantastic finish as well. Um, and Platty's pulled a couple of good saves off late on. But listen, yeah, it was, it was great. It, it was a good account. I'm a bit disappointed because w when you get good supporters, which Hales Owen are and Leamington are, I've been very fortunate to manage both football clubs. Um, and it's just a shame that the game just wasn't quite a, 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 as the levels we would have liked it to be. It was good for other reasons. Um, it's a bit like the other night down at Warwick. It's all about supporters, so... You know, you know the other night. You know, you got Leamington supporters who can't. There's no toilets to use. They can't get a drink. They can't have any food. They're all getting drenched. They're all going home. It's pathetic. So, but, but our scenario here is that it would have been a bit more excitement to the game, a bit more final entries, a bit. But I think the pitch dictated that the way the game went. 
But in a season, you get games like this. We haven't had many of these recently. We've got one like this, and we've just had to keep that clean sheet intact. They've got some very, very good players. Um, the handful with the system. It's a very adventurous system. And I can already, you, know, you can already see Russell's stamp just coming on it. Um, the way they are. Very cute and clever from set plays. We had to be really switched on today. And it was a good defensive performance. Um, and at times we had that bit of quality just on the turnover. We just need a bit more quality. But now, listen, it's, it's another, another great result because... You know, listen, these are a side that, um, you know, over the coming years, I think we'll be, we'll do really well. You could say, almost luckily, that we don't have a game on Easter Monday, um, so it's all guns ahead for a massive tie in Telford. Yeah, it is, yeah, and, and to be honest, obviously, th- th- this hasn't been a, a, a great week for us, we sort of happened to play that game on um, Tuesday on, on the 4G again, and w- w- the effects of the game, the surface, I mean, I haven't played Redditch as well, basically. Um, because obviously you know, we've got certain players that are not used to playing on it, and then you know, and, and that the problems we've had a lot with Jaya and Ewan and Tyrone again. So I'm so grateful we've just got a little breathing there. Um, and yeah, and there's some, they're all look, all look good games. I mean, listen, every time you go to Telford, it's always a good occasion. Uh, we had some great battles over the years, and I'm sure it'll be no different. That listen, they've um, you know when you when you appoint certain people like Kevin Wilkin or Russ Russ Pennion, you're going to end up with good sides, um, and they're a good side, and they've got some, you know, some good players and good individuals, and you know they'll still they'll still fancy themselves to, you know, uh, to get into that top two. So, listen, we're looking forward to the game. Um, it's all about uh, this stage of the season. You know, results are, are paramount, but um, and just hanging on in there because you know there's lots of teams winning games at the top end of the table, and uh, we've got to keep winning games. Um, you know, and, and obviously. Uh, the, the results at Redditch last week and the results against Hal's I mean, is they're, they're, they're good results. They're good results and different kind of wins, which you've got to do in this league. And uh, so, uh, some really good individual performance. And you know, you've got to mention Rob Evans again. I think you know, he's, uh, you know we've, we've always been aware of um, what he's all about. And good player he is, but I think when you get to work with him, you, you probably see that a little bit more. Which is yeah. So uh, certainly our game that one is uh, super.